Hi, my name is Sherry Zach Morris, and I'm a certified yoga therapist. I'm here in my hometown in Ohio, where it's beautiful and lush here. And once again, we'll be going outside for our yoga practice, where we can enjoy the beauty of nature, which gives us that inspiration to be strong and resilient. Now, this series might seem a little challenging for you to begin with. Once you start building your strength, it'll feel a little bit better. So are you ready to get stronger together? Let's do it. So good morning, hi, I'm Sherry, and I'm here in Northeast Ohio in the beautiful Metro Park. You can see that it's kind of an early morning vibe going on. The sun is just rising. And there's a little briskness to the air because it's early fall. So it's just this feeling of a brand new day. You don't know what's going to go on, right? So let's just embrace that in our body. So like a brand new day, right? What does that feel like? It feels like this. Like, bring it on. What's going to happen today? I'm ready for it, right? This yoga practice is a great practice to do maybe in the morning. Yeah, why not? Strong bones, strong legs. We're starting out right, aren't we? Good. Nice deep breath and let it go. And one more. Inhale. Good. And let it go. Good. So if you're practicing with me outside, great. If you're not, I hope you catch the vibe of the practice here. We're going to start with the very first uh, pose, which is called open the window, smell the flowers. Why not? So we're going to take our arms together and we're going to open the window with an inhale. And then we'll close the window with an exhale. And we'll open the window. Good. Opening up the chest and the back, huh? Close the window. And again, inhale, open the window. And exhale, close the window. But this time we're going to open the window. And then we're just going to pause here. See if we can drop the shoulders and lift the elbows a little bit. Yeah. I call this cactus arms, but really it's such a good pose for opening up your chest, getting your shoulders back into a proper alignment, and strengthening the back muscles. Yeah, all that just by doing this. Some people call it the gold post pose. Yeah, we call it cactus. Good, you got that? Very good. Now bring your hands back to the prayer. Now we're going to reach over the windowsill and we're going to grab a flower. So reach over, grab a flower. Now take a nice deep breath and smell that aroma. And then blow out the petals like this. Very good. You got the hang of it? This is for our breathing practice. So we're going to reach over, grab a flower, bring it back in. Nice, deep breath like this. Blow the petals out. Good. Now we're going to reach for a high one. How about that? Way up high. Good. Bring it back in. Nice, deep breath. And blow out the petals. And one more time. Inhale. Reach up. Bring it back in. Big breath. New day. Blow it out. Very good. All right, you guys, you got it. Fix your shirt if you need to. Good. Since we're outside, we're going to do a pose, which I really like, and it's called hug a tree. So you can take a little wider stance if you want, or you can bring your legs back together. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a big hug like this, and we're going to bend our knees like we're taking a big hug around a tree. We love our trees, don't we? Yes. Big hug, right? And then we're going to pull the energy of that tree back into our, our beings. Good. So here we go. We're going to take the breath. We're going to inhale. And we're going to exhale. Pull the energy in. Good. And inhale. And exhale. Good. That opens up the thoracic spine, which is the spine in the middle of you, right? Good. And now we're going to share the energy around us. So we'll go like this. Inhale. Exhale. Bring it in. Twist to one side. Share that energy. And twist to the other side. Good. Share the energy. One more time, a little warming up for the upper back with a twist. Very good. You guys got it. Good. Now we're going to add a curtsy. Why not? Share the energy. Take a little dip. Good. Back to the center. Share the energy. Curtsy. A little stretch for those calves, right? And one more time each side. Good. It's the morning. We're just warming up, right? And then dip. Good. And bring it all the way out to the side. Hold it. Hold it call this the tray pose, and it's really a super great pose for strengthening the upper back, right? Opening up the shoulders. You can feel that. I know you can. Good. And then bring your hands all the way back to your heart. And let's start with a little march. Marches are always good. We know that. They use our nice quadricep muscles, those muscles that here that lift your legs up. I call these the muscles of independence, right? They get you up off of the seat, off the toilet, get you walking around. They're your muscles of independence. Good. All right. 
So as we said, this series is all about creating stronger bones throughout our whole body, but also stronger legs. So that means everything we're doing on the top, we're going to be supporting ourselves with nice strong legs on the bottom. And you know how we get strong legs on the bottom? Yeah, we have to hold poses a little bit longer. Poses that are a little bit challenging, but I think we could do it. So the very first one and the one I like the best about strengthening our legs is the chair pose, or what I like to call the stool because it's not really super deep. So we're just going to bend the knees. Okay, so if I go sideways, see how my back is pretty straight? You can lean a little bit if you want to, but don't take it really deep into the knees. You'll find that, that that's a little precarious for us uh, people over 50 with those knees, right? So just kind of keep it a little bit bent. Keep your back straight if you can, and then your hands can just rest on your thighs, or you can bring them to your hips. Very good. How's that feel so far? All right. I bet you feel that you're working right now. Yes, you are. You can just hang here all day and get strong legs. Good. All right, so we're gonna do the hitchhiker thumb. We're gonna start with the left hand. So bring the left hand out in front, hitchhiker thumb. We're gonna take it out to the side one finger at a time. And we're gonna look while we're doing that. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four. See if you can take it back behind you and then back in, four, three, two, and one. Back in, good. Do it again, one, two, three, and four. All the way back in. Turn your head the other way and nod twice. Look back at your hand. And back in, four, three, two, and one. Good, other side, keep those knees bent if you can. If not, straighten them out, get a little break. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Remember, this is a little twist too. It's a shoulder opener and a twist. Four, three, two, and one. Good, take it again. One, two, three, and four. And four, three, two, and one. Very good, okay, now we're gonna add something to it. So keep those knees bent if you can. If not, you can stand up and get a little bit of a break. Okay, so first hand is out. Here we go. One, two, three, four, all the way, look. Now this time you're gonna take your hand and swoop it back in front of you and take the back of your hand to your forehead. And we're gonna go like this. Oh, I call this Scarlett O'Hara. Yeah, good. Take it one more time. Remember when she was talking to Rhett and she always had the vapors? Yeah. We're gonna take that all the way out. And then we're gonna come all the way back and go like this. Oh dear, good, you got it. Twice to the other side, here we go, hold it. Hitchhike your thumb. How are those legs feeling? Strong, I bet, two, three, four, all the way back, look, look, look. And then bring it all the way into Scarlet O'Hara. Good, and one more time, which is really a secret shoulder opener, isn't it? Yeah, all the way out, and then bring it all the way in. Good, good, how about both of them, oh yeah. Legs are feeling strong again. Yes, they are. One, two, three, four. Big open heart, big open heart. You can do it. Back in, four, three, two, one. Good, and then stand up nice and tall. And how about a little march and a little, you know, kick your butt. Kick your butt, yeah. Whenever we do those kind of deeper knee bends, we want to do these kick the butts because this will stretch out those quadriceps, those muscles of independence. Very good, good. And then maybe a little march, good. So we're gonna work on our shoulder mobility. So if we have a tendency to round forward, as in kyphosis, right? That means your shoulders are misaligned. And how do we get those shoulders to be aligned? Well, we need to work at it. This is a pose that I learned from my very good friend, James Knight. His gentle somatic yoga work is something that has really influenced many, many, many of my teachings. And this one is especially good for anybody who has frozen shoulder or just stiffness in the shoulder, right? It's very subtle. So you might have to look a little bit closer and listen a little bit closer to this, okay? So I'm gonna stand up nice and tall by my Tadasana. Good. You feeling good today? How are you feeling? Is it gonna be a good day today? Yeah, it's gonna be a good day. Okay, we're gonna take the left shoulder and we're gonna do this, watch. Up, see how I'm doing that? And then we go back to neutral. Good, and we can go up and back to neutral. If you wanna use the breath, you can go like this, inhale and exhale, release. And inhale and exhale, release. Good, so we're gonna do four of these sequences and four times every time we touch the cross, which is called the Celtic cross. So that was the first point. Second point is this, I call it the teacup, where we roll back and we hold our teacup to the side and our shoulders roll back. You can feel that shoulder blade kind of pulling into the center of your back. That's the feeling you want, okay? So that's one, we'll go like this. Two, back to neutral. Three, good, back to neutral. It looks like this, four, got it? Yeah, that's what it looks like, okay? So that's four, okay? Now the next one is gonna be a shoulder dip, okay? So what we're gonna do is gonna take that left hand and try to dip down and try to touch our, the floor or the ground, right? Back up, 
Then we're gonna go down and back up. That's two. We can go inhale and exhale. And we can go inhale and exhale. Good. So that's three points to the cross. The last one is this, roll and tuck. Good, it looks like this. That's two, that's three, and that's four. Oh, I got my knees going in that one. That's okay, why not? Incorporate a little bit of the lower body. Good, so you got that? So there's four points to the cross. Now comes the great part. We're gonna integrate all four of those. Slow to begin with, so you get all four points, and then it becomes a circle. So it goes like this, watch. Up, down in teacup, down towards the ground, tuck and round, right? So you see those four points, and then it goes like that. See that movement? Now do you see why this is good for shoulder mobility? It's good for frozen shoulder, which is the inability for your arm bone to roll comfortably in your shoulder socket, right? So just by this subtle movement, we're not doing big arm movements, are we? But we've got a full rotation in your shoulder socket. Oh, that feels so good, right? Good, all right. Now, you know what to do on the other side, right? Here we go, we go lifting, and then we go lowering. The lowering is just as important as the lift, okay? So lifting and lowering. If you wanna add the breath, it goes like this. Inhale and exhale. Make sure the other shoulder doesn't come with it, okay? And then inhale and then exhale. Good, that was four. Now the teacup to the side. So we go one and down. And I'm gonna add the knees. Two and down. Why not? A little playful, huh? Three and down and four and down. Now we're going to try to touch the ground. So we go like this, one, and down. Or inhale, and exhale. And inhale, and exhale. And one more time, and inhale, and exhale. Good, tuck and round, tuck and round, and then back to neutral. Tuck and round, back to neutral, and that's three, you got it, and four. Good, integration, all of them together. Watch, one, two, three, four. Yeah, can you see my shoulder lifting and lowering? And do you think the other side is moving very much? I hope not. It's really trying to isolate parts of our bodies. That gets rid of sensory motor amnesia, right? Good, so up and around and down. Now, you know what we're gonna do next. We're gonna do both. So it looks like this, up, back, down, and around. Yeah, and I like to get the whole body involved in that. And guess what? Look at my arms. They're moving. Your arms are appendages that hang off of your shoulder socket, right? So why not move them, right? And then you can do like a little like swim stroke, right? One and then the other. Yeah, and maybe move your hips a little bit. Find that nice movement. Good, and maybe take it out wider and just start to get organic on that. Good. Very good, you got it? That's how we want our body to be fluid and flexible. Good, start with little increments of movements and then we can take the bigger ones. Yeah, very good. Good, come all the way back to the center. All right, good job, how about a march, why not? If all fails, march, march around the house and smile, good. All right, since we warmed up our shoulders, we're gonna do another shoulder movement. This also is a somatic movement. It's from Erhard Rohmiller and it's called the teacup. I love it, it's one of my favorites because it's so much fun, okay? So we're gonna take the left hand and bring it out in front like we're holding a teacup and we're gonna do a figure eight, okay? So that means we're holding the teacup and we never wanna spill it, okay? We are in the middle of the eight right now, so we're gonna come up and around, down towards the middle, and tuck and round. Do you see that we're moving in the same ways that we just did in the Celtic cross, aren't we? The same motion, the same ability of our shoulder to move. Good, you got that? And don't worry if you're spilling the tea, it's all imaginary anyway, good. All right, good, okay, come back to the center of that eight. We're gonna go the opposite way, okay? I'm gonna put my hand on my hip because you, you know that what that does, right? It gives you stabilization when you're standing. So we're gonna take the hand here and we're gonna turn it down towards the belly button, up and around your head like a halo. Good, so it goes like that. I love this one. When I, once I got this one, I felt so proud of myself. I felt like, wow, I can figure this out. My body and my mind can figure this out together. Yeah, that's what so, uh, somatics does, right? It gets things a little complicated, so our brain got to get back into uh, the equation. Good. And now we'll transfer the teacup to the other side. Good. Here we go. Figure eight, up, around, and down in the middle, and under. Good. Yeah. See all those nice 
fluid motions for your shoulders. So when your shoulders are open and they're mobile, then your posture can get back into alignment. You won't be rounding anymore when you've got this kind of mobility. Good. And once you get that, we're going to go the other way. Here we go. Hold the teacup. Down towards your belly button, up and around. Good. You got it. It's like a little halo over your head, huh? Yeah. Good. And then you bring it all the way back. Now, both teacups are going to go on the tray. Okay. It looks like this. Watch. We're going to come up, 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 and look up. And then come down, down, down. Now you're holding the tray. Both fingertips coming towards your belly button, and we're going to pull it behind us. Take the tray away. Good. Bring the tray back. Bring it all the way up. Serve the tray. Maybe the fingertips come toward each other and come all the way down. I'm looking at a deer in front of me. It's so darn cute, you guys. He's playing in the water. Good. Here we go. Now, we're going to integrate the knees and the legs with this one. Okay, watch. Okay, got it? So we're going to go up, and we're going to go down. And we're going to go up, and we're going to go down. Good. Let's do that two more times. Up, and down, and one more time. Up, and down. Oh, those shoulders are feeling so good. Now hold it into your tray. Hold it, hold it. Take it out to the side. Lock it in. Oh, do you feel straight and stronger? I think you do. Good. And then release. Fix your shirt if you need to. Good. And then take it into a march. All right. Very good. Okay. We're going to take it into a Warrior One series. So we're going to get a little bit more strength in those legs. We're going to be holding as you know. So anytime you want to, back off out of that or um, hold it as if you, if you can. That's always good if you can hold it a little bit longer because you know you get stronger when you hold longer. Okay. So Warrior One, we're going to have the right foot in front of us and the left foot's going to step back. Okay, so find your warrior one stance. Remember, we're kind of making sure that that knee is aligned over the ankles. Our hands are on our hips to begin with. Our hips are kind of facing forward as much as you can. Good. Once you're there, how's that feel? Warrior one is a, a position of strong power. Yeah, I could feel that right now in my being, right? So feel that. Yeah, beginning of the day, the new day. That strong kind of, yeah, I could tackle the day kind of feeling. You got it. Good. And then bring your arms into cactus arms. Remember the goal pose for the cactus? Yeah, good, very good. And just gazing off us ahead of you, just noticing what you see. Breathing and holding, and holding and breathing. Good. So this is called open hearted warrior, right? Our heart is open to the world, why not? This is called big hearted warrior. I love this one because this one feels so good across the front of your body. Moving the energy from fingertips across your heart to fingertips. And if you want to and if it feels okay with your neck, gaze up a little bit and just embrace that feeling of having the biggest heart. Why not? Lots of love in life. We can give it. We can receive it. Good. And then come back for lightning warrior. Love lightning warrior. Know why? because it strengthens my back muscles and my core muscles at the same time. So yeah, just holding that, feeling strong. Good. Got that? Feeling good? We're going to do it one more round like that. So here we go. Open-hearted warrior. Good. Make sure the shoulders are dropped, right? We don't want them to be crunching up towards the ears. Good. Big-hearted warrior. Lift the chin if you want to. Take a nice deep breath. Bring in the new day. I think I see a little bit of vapor coming out of my mouth. It's a little chilly in the morning. Good. And then the last one is lightning warrior. Oh, how's that feel? Do you think you could interlace your hands behind your back? I'm going to try it today. Oh, yeah. Very good. Doesn't that feel good? Yeah. That opens the chest. Very good. And then release. Bring your hands to your hips. And then step it forward. And maybe a march. How about that? March, oh, maybe a hula hoop, why not? And a hula hoop. Very good. And the other. Okay, we'll do the other side. Okay, left foot in front, right foot steps back. Warrior one position, so we'll just shift a little bit of the hips forward. Good. Gazing down, make sure you always see your toes. Very important. If your knee is overextended, it's going to compromise your kneecap and your knee joint, and you're not going to like that feeling. Trust me, I know that. I've had some kneecap issues. It's not a fun thing. Okay, so here you go. You got it? Finding your stability? Yeah. Good. Cactus arms. All right. How's that feel on this side? You got it. Big hearted warrior. Gaze it up if you can. It's a little more precarious in your balance when you shift your gaze, isn't it, huh? 
You, I bet you feel your feet wobbling. I do. Good. And then lightning warrior. Strong back muscles, strong core muscles, and strong legs. Yeah, we got it. And we're going to repeat that again. So here we go. Up into cactus arms. Very good. Holding that. And then just gaze forward. Gaze forward to your new day. You have no idea. You might have something planned today, but you have no idea what's going to happen. Right? Good. And then take it all the way out big. Open-hearted warrior. Lift your chin. Breathe in. Oh, look at that wonderful back bend you have. Good. And then lastly, Lightning Warrior. Doesn't Lightning Warrior feel powerful? I love Lightning Warrior. One of my most faves. Okay, here we go. Interlace your hands behind your back. Maybe even take the other pinky down the other way. Good. And hold that. And then bring your hands to your hips and come forward and a march. And yes, a kick your butt is in order, huh? Oh yeah, we were bending that front leg for quite a while, which creates strength. Those muscle fibers have to get strong in order to hold that pose and the muscles get stronger. But we got to make sure that we don't remain tight there. We want to make sure we stretch those out. So that's what kick your butt does. And then how about a hula hoop? Very good. And then the other way. Okay, my last pose for this upper body area is halo. It's one of my cool favorites. I also learned this from Earhart Roll Miller. It's a fluid one. So anytime you see some fluid movements, it's usually the somatic stuff that kind of comes kicking in. So we're gonna take a little wider stance on this one, right? Put your hands on your hips because this one's got an upper and lower body coordination. Are you ready? I think we warmed up enough so our brain and our bodies are working a-okay together, right? Good, so you're gonna shift your uh, weight to your left side by bending your left knee. See, come back up and then you're right. Come back up. Good. So now it goes like this, this way and this way. So you never really are locking your knee and you're never really holding that kind of bent knee position. You're kind of shifting side to side. So this integration of a movement like this is very similar to Tai Chi and Qigong, right? So it's kind of always the, the idea of you're moving your weight and shifting it side to side, which improves your balance. Yeah, good. So you got the legs. Okay, now the arms. We've done a lot of shoulder rotation, so this really is going to be a little bit easier for you now. Okay, left hand, watch. See how I have my hand curled like this? I'm going to curl my hand over my head like this, like a halo over my head, and then I'm going to take it out to the side. See how that looks? I'm going to bend over my head, take it out to the side. Good. And then the other side, right? Over my head like a halo, and then out to the side. And then over my head. Good. So you got that feeling? Now take both arms out. We're in our nice big star position, right? So let's take the left hand. We're going to take it over the head and straight, and the right hand over the head and straight. Now the legs, watch. Straight, straight, you got it. Now, I want you to try it and flow. See how this movement just flows? Good, see how this movement just kinda glides there in the shoulders and in the hips and in the knees. Yeah. You could even just start your day with this movement once you warm up a little bit. Good. Big open star. Good. Hands to your hips. Walk it back in. Fix your shirt if you need to. March it out if you want to. Good. Well, thank you so much for joining me in this early morning practice to get stronger bones in the upper back and our neck and our shoulders, get good posture when we do that, and of course, stronger legs as we did a lot of those holds today. So I see you the next time. Namaste.